them girls loose, loose. DJR. You don't get the world loose, loose. You don't get money, Mr. Worldwide. But I do, I do. You don't get them girls loose, loose. You don't get the world loose, loose. You don't get money, loose, loose. But I do, I do. I think y'all having a good time out there. Hello everybody, this is Juniper Gaming here with another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Speed Run. So in the last episode we took care of a lot of odds and ends, we beat Lieutenant Surge, got through the Rock Tunnel, and earlier we also got the HM Flash and got the town map. So with that, we're moving right along here. This is a very short episode, so I'm not going to put any music or anything, I'm just going to commentate right over it. This is not live, and the reason why this is a short episode is because if you remember, our Sphiel did not evolve, and I did not know this when I played the game. Though I had to get to a, sp a certain point in the game to enter a Game Shark code, though in the end it did not work the Game Shark code. So at the end of this episode, we are not going to be able to get a CLO or, for that matter, a Walreen. So it looks uh, a little bleak right now. We have to beat the game with a Sphiel, and then from there we can evolve it. Though, hey, I'm up for a challenge. These games are usually pretty easy, uh, well, at least from what I remember. So this will add a nice little challenge to it. So in this episode, the main point is that we have to get the tea from the old lady in Sealdon City, and then we're going to unlock Saffron City. And that's pretty much the main thing that we're doing, but it's a pretty big episode um, in that we will be unlocking Sealdon City and Saffron City. So that's actually really good, just to get that um, in a nice small episode. Uh, I'm going to call it episode 6 still. Uh, I was thinking about calling it 5.5, but, you know, episodes <coughs> an episode's an episode. So, right here we're just taking care of some trainer battles. I'm gonna go back eventually and take care of everything else because I think there was a lot of battles here or something, I forget. So we're going to make it through the underground path here. And we're going to make our way to Sealed On City. And basically once we unlock this we have tons of stuff. We have gyms, we have the department store, we have Team Rocket, we have the fighting dojo, we have tons and tons of stuff to do from here. And we also have the city down south of us, uh, I forget the exact name of it. Else, that also has the Safari Zone, so we have tons of stuff, we have tons of ways that we can take different paths, that is, and that'll be pretty fun. So we get the T, and now with that, we will unlock the middle pathway that we haven't been able to get recently, and there's the T that we've, uh, <laughs> that, uh, they were, yeah, pretty much like a bribe. So, now we unlock Saffron City, and this pretty much unlocks a lot of stuff. So there you see the Fighting Jojo, uh, Dojo, very briefly. And that is where I'm thinking we're going to get our next Pokemon. It's either Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan, I believe. I haven't entered that yet. So that will probably be the main objective of this upcoming episode. So now this area is um, kind of infested with Team Rocket. So that's not, uh, that's not very good. We're going to have to take care of that eventually. So <coughs> just poking our head back into Sealed On City. We also have the Game Corner and tons and tons of stuff, like I said. There's also an Eevee in one of these buildings that we can get. So, maybe I'll get an Eevee. I don't know, I don't think so. Though, you get to really choose what you want. You want Vaporeon, um, Jolteon, uh, or what do you call it? Flareon, yeah. So, the next episode, we are probably going to go into the Fighting Dojo and maybe get another addition to our party. So, this has been a short episode, though we definitely did a lot for, what is this, three minutes long? Yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Sorry about the whole news this field, but hey, it's a good challenge. It also moves, uh, learns moves earlier, and also will uh, take less experience to grow levels. That's pretty good, though. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. This is Juniper Gaming, signing out.